About a year ago I painted a skateboard and I used a wood graining tool to give it a kind of a custom look and I've, it's become a really popular video and I get emails all the time asking me about the tool. So anyway, it's called the wood graining tool. You can find them I'm sure on Amazon. Just Google wood graining tool and I think it'll cost somewhere between $15 and $20. I'm not exactly sure. I bought this a long time ago. So I'm going to paint another skateboard and we'll just go over the whole process once again. The first thing you'll need is a skateboard and this is referred to as a blank and again you can find these on Amazon and these will be right around maybe $12 or $15 and they come with a clear coat on them and I like to use a piece of 150 sandpaper and just lightly sand the whole board. Once you're finished sanding the board then it's time to tape out the design and this one's going to be pretty simple because it's just a straight line. I'll tape out about three quarters of an inch from the edge of the skateboard. You could measure this but I'm just going to eyeball it. And the tape that I'm using is the yellow tape by Frog Tape. The paint is a latex enamel and basically you could use a flat paint or a high gloss paint, it really doesn't matter, but you do want to use a latex and not an oil in this case. The reason why you don't want to use an oil is it would just take a very long time to dry. Now I'm going to thin this a little bit with just a bit of water. Now I just want to be clear that you can use the wood grain tool with oil paint and in fact it's often easier to use oil paint because oil paint takes longer to dry so you have more working time. But since our work piece is so small the latex will work fine. Now you definitely want to have a bucket of water close by so once you finish working with the wood grain tool you can put it in the bucket of water so the paint doesn't dry and destroy the tool. I'm going to apply a thin coat of paint with a foam brush and working pretty quickly because I don't want it to dry. Now I'll take the wood graining tool sometimes you work with it until you figure out what you like this isn't going the way I like it to go okay so maybe I have to go across the grain because there's so much shape on the board that the tool won't lay flat. So let's try going across the grain this way. This isn't going the way I want it to go at all. Put a little more water on this thing. I dip the foam brush into water to add a little moisture to the paint so it doesn't dry because uh, I'm having a bit of a hard time here so let me see if I can if I can get what I originally wanted to get maybe it's better to pull it all right well I think this looks pretty good but I'm gonna try it again so again I'm dipping the foam brush into the water and moistening up the paint again giving me a little bit more working time and I'll try dragging the grain make you got sometimes you get paint in there and you got to try to get that out too just so it doesn't get all clogged up so now I'm going to just pull from one side to the other Well that didn't go exactly as I had hoped it would go, but I, I still think it might work. So now I'm going to, while this is drying, clean my brush and clean the wood grain tool. And uh, I can speed this drying process along too a little bit with a hair dryer. Before I clean the brush, I, I just want to show you how I thought the wood graining tool would work. The problem is the skateboard has a convex shape, so the tool can't lay flat. So this is a flat piece of this happens to be from Micah, 
but if we spread the paint all over the top of it, since this is flat, I should get a nice wood graining effect simply by dragging the tool over. Something more like that. I let the paint dry, but before I remove the tape, I'm gonna bring the board outside and give it a thin, clear coat. I let the clear coat dry for about 45 minutes and now I can remove the tape. I'm kind of liking the way it looks right now and I'm tempted to just leave it, but I had planned to tape, uh, let's just call this the graphic, tape this out and then paint the rest of the board white. So I'm just gonna go for it and, and hopefully I don't regret it. And again, I'll tape the graphic out with the yellow frog tape. And this stuff really works great. I mean, look how nice and clean that line is. I'll use the cross piece of tape as a straight edge and try to just follow that line with the razor blade. And then this piece here I can cut inside because I've got the tape going across this way. And I'll just hold the razor blade like this. And now I'll cover the rest of the graphic with the tape. Okay, well now I'm ready to take the board outside and paint it white. I'm gonna use a flat paint because eventually I'll clear coat the whole board once I remove the tape and the clear coat has a gloss finish. Well, I'm just about finished now. A few more coats of clear, and that's all there is to it. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned, but in the end, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm sure one of my boys will want. I have three boys, and they all skate. Uh, you may know that I give something from the studio away each week. This week, I'm giving away a little framed painting. And this is an image uh, it's a stencil that I've made from a photograph by the fashion photographer Horst P. Horst. He was a fashion photographer from like the 1930s and there's really great images if you uh, Google him. Uh, so anyway, this is, I made the frame also. If you want a chance to win this, go to my website, johnpeters.com, click on giveaways and you can find out all about it. Thanks for tuning in, have a great week and I'll see you soon.